Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, we are going to do uh, on a sanction to launch this Kalanan flow for the GI tag. Okay, for this geographical indication tag. So we are going to talk more about uh, th this uh, Kalanan flow, why is it on the news, as well as we're going to talk more something more in detail about the geographical indica uh, indications, uh, the GI tags, what are the benefits, and we'll be also trying to solve like at least five MCQs uh in this session today right okay so uh, my name is hansa nora sangma and i've done my bachelor's in horticulture and i've also completed my master's in nematology and agriculture and i've been a mentor for your nepal exam right so uh without wasting any more time if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel please don't forget to subscribe and uh, press the bell icon for further notifications and you can share with your friends who have been giving any exams and if you've liked the video don't forget to hit the thumbs up button as well right so uh today we're going to talk about this talanan clove all right so this clove it has uh, the government that the state government has sanctioned to launch this uh, clove for the geographical indi uh, geographical indication tag all right so why is it on the news the agriculture department they have launched an effort to help secure the farmers a geographical indication tag for the frame for the fame cloves of this Talanan. all right so this belongs to this Talanan area which is in the Kotayam district all right and so what happened here the state government they also had given an administrative sanction for the characterization as well as the registration of these uh, Talanan clove right as a geographical indica uh, indication so this is done by the proposal which was submitted by the uh, KAU, which is the Kerala Agriculture University, under the scheme for the development of the spices. Right. So, how will it secure the farmers? Uh, basically, it will give them when you have the geographical indica uh, indication, then they will have the legal rights for that particular region and in that way it'll become famous and then there will be more demand because of its quality because a geographical indica uh, indication is given to those products which have a particular uh, distinct quality in respect to that particular region right so once that when we once we have the geographical indica uh, indication in that particular area so the demand will also be higher as well as the customer satisfaction and in that way the uh, export will also be higher there will be higher demand in the market and in that way it will also help the farmers to get more production more areas for production as well and they will be able to get more income through this as well as they will be helping in their normal uh, employment of these people in that region all right so that is how it's going to secure the farmers so this department has launched this uh, has made an effort to sanction uh, to launch the Talanan clove as for the geographical indication tag all right and some of the characteristics given by the farmers of the cloves are that it has a very high oil content right and when it is dry all right and it also has golden dark golden color compared to the cloves cultivated elsewhere so these are the characteristics if you can see these will be the qualities which distinct qualities which separate it from the other clothes in the country or anywhere else in the world all right so these are the characteristic clothes as well and this ipr cell which is intellectual property right cell of this kau kerala agriculture university they also won the national intellectual property award in 2019 so this uh, statement is very important it can also come in the exams all right so try to remember and if you don't um, if you learn it for the first time, you can jot it down in your notepad as well. All right. So number second that you guys need to remember here is that they also facilitated the GI registration for 10 agricultural products from Kerala. All right. And these 10 uh, agricultural products are Pokali rice, Nilambur teak, uh, Marayu jaggery. We have Jira kasala and we have Gandakasa 
rice varieties from which is from the area or the place known as Wenat, all right. And we have also have a uh, kepad rice. We have vasakulam pineapple as well as a, a central travancore jaggery. So these are some of the uh, ten agriculture products from Kerala. It's very important to know the agriculture products uh, which is specific to the particular region in this uh, country, all right. So a lot of times an exam examiner can ask questions from there as well. Uh, so for this we are we are going to solve some questions and at the end of the session right so we don't have to worry about that so in that way the questions may also come so you'll have us uh, some idea about how the questions may also come under this topic right so these are something of the Talan and Crow Club and why is why is it on the news all right so this uh, this topic is fairly important from the exam point of view. They might just ask you from which uh, area or region is this Thalanan flow. So your answer would be from Kerala, all right? And now let us look into more in detail about this geographical indication tag in agriculture, all right? So first and foremost, we need to understand what is a geographical indication, right? So a geographical indication, it basically refers to a type of an intellectual property protection okay and so it identifies the goods with the geographical region first thing here that you guys need to remember here is that uh, it is an indication right it is an indication and it originates from a definite geographical theory uh, the territory so it belongs from a particular geographical origin okay it has to be specific to that particular origin and it is also uh, used to identify the agriculture, natural naturals or other manufactured go goods and such as industries in industries as well as in handicrafts as well, right? And so this particular product to get a geographical indication, it should have a special quality or a reputation or other distinctive characters, right? So this will, uh, if you have all these things, then you can get a geographical indication and this is what a geographical indication is, right? Some examples of some of the geographical indications in India, these are um, Basmati rice, Darjeeling tea, we have Nagpur orange, we have Kolapuri chappal, all of that, these are all geographical indications, all right? And uh, some of uh, this, so this GI, a GI tag, just geographical indication tag, is a sign, all right? It's a sign which is used on the product, which have a specific geographical origin, as we have said, and they also process process an uh, origin-based qualities and reputation in that particular region, all right? So this is what a geographical indication tag is, all right? So here, in order to function as a, a GI, a sign must identify a product as originating at a given place. So here, as we are reading this uh, slide, you can make out that a very important point is that it has to have a particular, it should be a, a dist should be distinct to that particular origin or to the particular geographical territory, and it should have a proper distinctive characteristics, all right, related to that particular origin or that particular geographical area. So this is what a geographical indication is, right? And now let's move on to more into the slides and let us look into it, right? So the first here, uh, in history of uh, GI tag in India, right? So basically in December 1999, the parliament, uh, they had passed the geographical indication of the Goods Registration and Protection Act uh, of 1999, all right? And India, as a member of this World Trade Organization, they enacted this uh, geographical indication of Goods Registration and Protection Act and they, it came to force with the effect on 15th of September uh, 2003, all right? So what will, how would this help? So this act will, also, will seek to provide the, for the registration and better protection of that particular geographical indications relating to the goods in India, all right? And this act would also be administered by the controller uh, general of patents, design, and trademarks, right? And this person, he is the registrar of the geographical indications, all right? So these are some history of the geographical indication tag in India, all right? So let's move on. So what are the objectives of this GI tags? So we also have some of the objectives, the basic motive for the basic objective of this geographical indication 
tag is to prevent the authorized use of a registered uh, geographical indication by the others, right? So this uh, geographical indication, they will provide uh, basically in simpler terms, they will provide a security to the new or the unique goods which are manufactured or produced by uh, an individual or an association or a person of that particular region or in that area, okay? So this is what, uh, what the main objectives or the motives of this geographical indications are, right? So who is who issues the GI tag in India, right? So basically, this tag is issued by the Geographical Indication Registry, which is under the Department of Industry Promotion and Internal Trade, which is under the Ministry of uh, Commerce and Industry, right? And so these are issued as per the Geographical Indication of Goods Act, right? And this GI tag is basically given to the entrepreneurs or a group of businessmen or a particular people uh, of a particular area, state or country, which will help them to manufacture goods of a good quality. What are the benefits of this geographical indication? So what benefits, what advantages it has, right? So the first one is that it prevents duplication of the tagged products, right? So it gives a particular unique character or a tag to that particular area, to that particular region, so that it gives up legal protection to that and it will help them in uh, not having any duplicacy of that particular product, all right? And the second one here is that this tag is given to good quality products, so it increases the customer satisfaction. And number three is that the good quality of the products, these are open door to the international producers as well. So there will be more export, right? And it also increases the revenue of the producers because there will be more demand and it will also create an employment in that region. So when there is more demand, there's uh, people, we need people, we need resources to work on that particular area or that region. And so in that way, the employment also will increase, all right? So these are some of the benefits of this geographical indication. Some things that you guys need to remember here is that do not get a uh, confused with the geographical indication as uh, as a trademark, right? So a trademark is a sign which is used in the course of a trade and it distinguishes the goods or the services of one enterprise from uh, those of the other enterprise, all right? But the geographical indication is an indication which is used to identify the goods which have a special product or characteristics originating from a definite geographical territory. Right, so this trademark is related to more of an enterprise, but this geographical indication, it gives you a unique identification character or a unique identification tag, which can which originated from the different geographical territory. Right, so these are the main two different main differences between the trademark and a geographical indication. Right, so these are something on the geographical indications. And now let's try to solve some of the questions related to this, right? So number question number one here is that which of the following was the first product to get a GI tag in India, right? So the options here are number A, which is Nagpur orange, number B is Kachai lemon, number C is green cardamom, number D is Darjeeling tea, and number E is Nevada rice, right? So guys, the right answer for this is Darjeeling tea. So Darjeeling tea, it was the first product and from India that got the GI tag, all right? So, and it got the GI tag in the year of 2004. So this is a very important question. So try to remember this. And uh, since then, since 2004, the first was Darjeeling tea, 365 goods they have been added to the list as of May 2020, all right? So this, these two statements, these are very important from the exam point of view, so try to remember this, right? And our question number two here is that who issues the GI tag in India, right? So the options here are geographical indication registry. Number B is the patent authority of India. Number C is Ministry of Finance, Government of India. Number D is World Trade Organization. And number E is none of the above, right? So guys, for this question, I would like you all to comment in the comment section. Please, if you guys have any more doubts or if you guys want to know more about it, you can comment in the comment section and you can clear out your doubts as well as you can clear out your confusions, okay? So, uh, number question number three here is that Pokali uh, is a unique saline-tolerant rice variety that is cultivated in which of the following state? 
right? So the options given here are, is number one is Kerala, number B is Andhra Pradesh, number C is Manipur, number D is Tamil Nadu, number D is Maharashtra, right? So uh, the correct answer for this is Kerala. So Pokali is a unique saline uh, tolerant a variety, a rice variety which is found in Kerala, right? So it is cultivated in the waterlogged uh, coastal regions, which is in Tissur and Nakulam and Alapuza districts of Kerala, right? So it has it is in the three districts, which is Tissur and Nakulam and Alapuza district in Kerala, right? So in that way, try to study all the GI tags which are related to agriculture. So for example, we have certain GI tags from all over the country, such as we from Assam, we have Facebook Litchi, we have um, from Nagaland, we have Nava King Chili and Arunachal Pradesh, we have Arunachal or Orange, uh, Himachal Pradesh has a Kangra tea, even Jammu and Kashmir, they have recently uh, Kashmir saffron have been added to the GI tag, right? So the, these are one of the recent ones. And Karnataka, we have this Kurg orange, which is a very famous. And we also have Kurg green, uh, cardamom. These are all some of the geographical tags of certain areas, right? So in that way, you can study the uh, along with the state, try to help some of the agriculture products or the fruit varieties or whatever on the other side, and you can study the try to remember and study this particular GI tax these are from that particular area okay so a lot of questions can come in this way as well so try to prepare yourself in this way all right and now let us move on to another question here so what is the time limit of this GI tag so the options given here are number A which is 15 years number B is 10 years number C is 12 years number D is 6 years and number E is three years so the right answer for this is 10 years all right so this registration of this geographical indication is valid for period of 10 years so after a period of 10 years it can be renewed from time to time right so this is the period for the geographical indication all right so after that after 10 years you'll have to renew it again right so a last question here is this chuck how which is a black rice they recently got this geographical indication tag and this belongs to which of the following states, all right? So number A is Andhra Pradesh, number B, Nagaland, number C is Arunachal Pradesh, number D, Manipur, number E, Uttarakhand, right? So guys, for this question, I would like you all to comment in the comment section so that I'll know whether you guys have any idea about this black rice which has recently got a GI tag, right? So uh, please do comment and right. So well, guys, that's all for today. If you guys want me to explain in more in detail about a particular products, uh, belonging to the particular region then do let us know and i'll try to make another session for that as well right so before ending the session please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you guys are new and you can also press the bell icon for further notifications from our channel for uh, upcoming exams and other exam related content and you can also press the thumbs up button if you have liked the video and please do share with your friends whoever is giving the exam so that they're able to study together right so thank you so much and we'll be meeting for the next session.